My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And today we're doing a three part series where we'll be taking a look at sprinkler and irrigation tools, parts, and parts storage. Today's video will be on the tools, so uh, let's get to it. I'm a landscape contractor, and in today's video, we'll take a look at the tools that I use. Uh, whether you're a homeowner or a contractor, these might give you a good idea of what tools might be required for your sprinkler or irrigation project. So as you can see, we've got a huge assortment of tools here. We'll talk about what I use for sprinklers. These are a lot of the tools that I have in my truck and trailer. Um, not all are going to be irrigation related, but we'll go ahead and talk about them one by one. So on the far end here, we've got this big beefy hammer. This is great for uh, metal edging. Uh, our masonry projects, when we put in paper retaining walls, uh, we tend to use this a lot. Not so much for sprinkler irrigation, although this would be good for pounding out any uh, rocks uh, that might be in the way and breaking them loose or concrete. So I, I will use it in that situation. Next up we've got these Klein wire cutters. Uh, these work really great. Um, in fact, I don't always use these. A lot of times I'll actually use my Leatherman. Leatherman has a pair of pliers and wire cutters and strippers on them. Definitely not as a precise and refined tool. Uh, the wire cutters are much preferred, but these are on my hip at all times. So that's kind of a bonus uh, tool we've got here. Okay, we'll go through these pretty quick. We've got our crescent wrench, we've got our pipe wrench, we've got our channel locks. Two different types of channel locks here. We've got the more rounded ones, and we've got the flat ones. And we've got the Nipex. Um, all these are really pretty much the same type of tool. Uh, adjustable wrenches of sorts. Really very useful with the large pipe diameters we tend to use. Next up we got pipe cutters. We've got some cheap ones from Home Depot. I've got another cheap set from Home Depot. We've also got this really nice pair of Victor uh, pipe cutters. Uh, these are about 50 bucks, uh, but really an excellent option. Has an exchangeable blade system. Really, really, really nice if you're doing it uh, as a contractor. Next up we got these pipe cutters. These are really pretty uh, inexpensive, about $10 a piece. And the nice thing about these is they're great for cutting uh, funny pipe or flex pipe uh, and any soft pipes, uh, poly pipes, uh, thin walled pipes. Okay, next up we got our specialty tools. We've got this Shark Bite brand crimp tool. So if you've got uh, crimping style fittings, these are for uh, half inch household plumbing. Um, but the way these work is you set these inside here and it, when it crimps on the pipe, uh, that is strong enough to uh, hold the pipe on to the coupler and uh, that's how you seal those. We've also got this band style where you take this this specialty tool so this specialty tool opens up on the end here we've got this ratchet style system you insert this uh, crimp end inside there put it around the pipe and then as you press it closed that also crimps it. So two specialty tools. I don't use a ton of these. I don't do PEX or poly pipe um, as often, but when I'm doing repairs often, I'll find a system that has that. Another tool that I have on my truck and trailer are these um, Corona um, pruners, hand pruners. I don't use these often for sprinkler repairs, but sometimes in a bind or a pinch, I will use these to cut wire and they do work. And if uh, you do any sorts of landscaping, you know these are like, uh, flight miles. We've got our Rainbird uh, tool. I don't have any of the Hunter tool. Hunter tool. Hunter has a white tool and uh, I don't do as much Hunter stuff but I do uh, tend to run into it and I do have the adjustment tool for that. Got a little mini screwdriver here. Uh, switches out to Phillips which is really nice. Uh, this is a really old school one. Really quality. Works great. String. Nice to have. We've also got some duct tape. And we've got our power tools. So here I've got, uh, I picked up this Makita set, drill and hammer drill set as a combined unit uh, several years ago and I've added to it since. I also picked up this uh, Sawzall. This is their lower end Sawzall unit. I think this is about $100. And you've got um, a power button here and a power button down here. Um, this is a little bit underpowered and the throw on it's pretty shallow. It's only about a half an inch throw. Um, but this is excellent for anything over inch sized pipe. So these pipe cutters work really good up to inch, inch and a quarter, inch and an eighth. Um, but you're going inch and a half, two inch or plus, it's really nice to have a Sawzall uh, to cut through that pipe. 
uh, drainage pipe, four inch, six inch. And then we've also got our hammer drill back here. So this uh, is a quartered hammer drill. And when you're uh, putting in new systems, you're putting in wire into a garage or into a house, sometimes you have to go through the foundation, uh, through the concrete foundation. And for that, you've got a specialty bit that's designed to go through concrete really long. Sometimes those uh, concrete foundations are 12, 14 inches thick. Um, so it's good to have a long blade on there, get your wire through the wall, and uh, this is a really heavy duty uh, hammer drill. Sometimes we have the need to get pipe through the foundation. If we've got plumbing into the house and we're teeing off that line, uh, we'll hire a plumber as a subcontractor, come in and tee off that line, put in a manual valve, and then we'll have to drill through the foundation as well. Usually for that, I will rent a drill and get a big hole saw attachment, uh, inch, two inch um, hole saw attachment as to, to, put, to core through that wall, the concrete wall. You can also hire a subcontractor to do the same thing as well. So this is everything that I pulled off my truck um, as far as hand tools. I also have obviously shovels, uh, trenching shovels. Um, anything that I left out, the recommendations, things I should add to my kit, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, this is a pretty thorough uh, toolkit for uh, sprinkler and irrigation systems and that's kind of a brief overview of what I use them for. Well thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would, please give us a big thumbs up and like. Leave any questions or comments down below. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. I like my afro hair. Get everything in the picture. I'm just barely starting filming. <laughs>